Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll see how to calculate EMI on personal loan. And for this purpose, I've taken the example of three different apps through which the loan has been obtained. Now, after availing loan, this is the loan agreement that has been sent by the lender uh, with the details of the loan. Now, you can see towards my left hand side, these are the information that I require in order to calculate EMI. Now, in this details, they are given the amount of EMI payable is 6104. And in this video, I am going to show how to arrive at this number, which is the EMI amount of 6104. So, I need the loan amount. Loan amount is 27,200 plus 6,800, which will add up to 34,000. Loan term is nothing but the number of months in which you are going to make payment. So, I am going to make this payment in 6 months and the interest rate is 26%. Now, in order to calculate EMI, we are not going to make use of crazy difficult formula. We are just going to make use of a simple built-in function which is already in Excel. And the function is PMT. The full form of PMT is payment. Now, in this instance, it is asking for the rate. The rate of interest is nothing but 26% divided by 12 because there are 12 months in a year, comma, NPER is nothing but the number of periods in which you are going to make payment. So, it is 6 months, comma, PV is nothing but the present value. So, the loan amount is 34,000. So, now close the parenthesis and just press enter. So, once you press enter, you can see that 6104 is the amount that you are going to pay and this is what they have shown in this loan agreement. Now one more example from where the loan has been taken is from Paytm. So you can see through Paytm app 280,000 is the loan amount, the rate of interest is 22%, the loan tenure is 30 months and this is the EMI amount that they have given. So what I am going to do is I am going to Put up the values which is 280,000 and loan term is uh, 30 months and the interest is 22%. So start off with equal sign, make use of PMP function, rate is 22% divided by 12, comma, number of periods is 30, comma, and PV is 280,000. In my previous example which I showed, we got the answer with 20 cents. So, if you want, don't want to get the answer with the negative sign, you can put a negative sign before this present value. That is, you can take it as minus the one. Now, close the parenthesis and then press enter. So, 12217 is what the EMI that we have to pay. And the last uh, app is Ishii app. This is instant personal loan app. And one. I'm not going to put the formula. I'm just going to update the loan amount. So loan amount is 85,000. Loan term, you can see here, the loan term is for 12 months. And the interest rate, you can see that the interest rate is 32%. So 32%. You can see that the EMI amount is 8370. And that is what they are given. The EMI amount is 8370. Now, what we can observe through all these apps is that look at the interest rate. So we started off with uh, credit B, the interest rate is 26%, Paytm 22% and this particular app is 32% and this is an instant personal loan app. So we have both advantages and disadvantages of using this instant personal loan but majority is a disadvantage because you can look at the interest rate which is 32%. Now. I would also like to explain about uh, some of the uh, disadvantage of using instant personal loan app. Now, whenever you are applying for a loan, all they will check is about your credit score. If your credit score is good, they will move on to check about your income and also the existing EMIs which you are already paying. They just want to check if you can make the payment correctly. Now, we are talking about instant personal loan app. Through this app, what happens is that they will not check about the credit score. They will not even bother whether you are salaried, whether you are having a regular income or not. All they will do is that ask your PAN details, your other card details and then 
instantly give you a loan and you can see a list of many youtube uh, videos which shows a list of uh, personal loan hacks and they will also show you the proof that the loan amount has been credited but you should also understand the consequences behind uh, these instant personal loan apps. What they will do is that once you install your app from the Play, from the Play Store, they'll capture your uh, personal data. Personal data in the sense your media files, your contacts, your SMS details, everything will be captured by these apps. Now what happens is that if you, if you do not repay, all they will do is that pass on wrong information uh, about you and they will also morph your photographs and start sending your to your contacts. So through my research, uh, I have found one particular app. This is the app, which is AI Credit Personal Loan app, which is fake. And uh, if you do not repay, they will pa start passing wrong information about you. And even after making repayment, they will ask you to pay. So in order to be safe, do not use any of this personal loan app. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. And if you are watching my video for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon for further updates.